Hey everybody, Adrian here, and today we're going to show you how to make a feathered garbage mask. So this is a non-feathered garbage mask, and you can tell here, the edges are jagged, really nasty, not very nice looking. So let's try to fix that by adding a feather. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as going under the effects uh, panel and searching fe feathered and then applying the edge feather effect because if you're familiar with the edge feather effect, it only affects the border which, um, yeah, doesn't apply when it comes to the garbage mask. So this is what you need to do. I'm going to delete the edge feather because we don't need it. You need to make a color map, which you can make by clicking the new item and under color map. A black video will also work, but I prefer using color mats and yeah, that's about it. So drag the color mat on top of the clip that you have the garbage mask on and extend it to the length of the clip. Now, Go under the effects controls of your garbage mask clip and copy and paste the garbage mat onto the color mat. So you can copy and paste by clicking the effect here, hitting Ctrl C or Command C if you're on a Mac, then clicking the color mat and then just clicking Ctrl V. Now, if you, uh, this is hidden for some reason. Now, if you look here, all right, this is junk, this is useless. So now it's trying to get this guy to recognize this as the crop slash mat. And you can solve this by going to the effects panel and searching for track mat key. So apply that on your clip that you want to do the garbage mat on, not the color mat. And then under here, the, on the mat, select video 4 or the video where your mat is located on. And now you see, hey, the mat is working and to show you that it is truly working, I'm gonna disable the mat on this one so that this is the only one with the garbage mat and yep, it's working. But in case you're not looking, it's still jagged and nasty and all. So now what you need to do is apply a fast blur to your color mat. So once I apply a fast blur and then you can adjust the blurriness to adjust the feathering. This is very nice indeed and now you can get that super smooth edges. Now let's zoom in and yeah, that seems about right for me. I'm happy with that. That seems smooth enough for me. And you can adjust the, the amount of edge feather nearness you need want, I guess, by using the blurriness effect. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Of course you can do this quicker and probably easier in After Effects, but if you want to do something quick and dirty in Premiere Pro, this is how you do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little video.